Hello everybody, welcome to a spring edition of Art Whisper 88. Now, spring is a time of renewal and of great joy when you see all the plants and flowers emerge from their winter sleep. So my theme today is allegory of spring. I will be using uh, light colors, uh, floral colors, and uh, this is a 16 by 20 gel plate. Um, so the colors I'll be using, this is Amsterdam sky blue. This is Blicrylic raw sienna. I have transparent yellow medium also by Amsterdam and let me see this is titanium buff light and and this is Venetian rose also by Amsterdam so I will start with drawing some very fine lines with my Sharpie. I'm making sort of leaf-like marks. Okay. Then I will use some titanium. Transparent yellow. Some Venetian rose. And some sky blue light. Okay, I have to keep in mind that a little goes a long way. So I will use, instead of using a brayer for the first pull, I'm going to start with my silicone spreader, or it's called a color shaper. And let's see, finally I will add some raw sienna. Now Blicrylic has a lot of extenders in it, so it's a good vehicle to pick up these black lines. So this time I will be using my brayer.
Now there may or may not be some blank spots, but I'm not so much concerned because that creates a little more interest when something is not perfectly even. Okay. And again, I will add some marks. Now, I do not really plan on the layout of these marks. You would call it intuitive. Okay. And I am using, this is Legion Coventry. This is a hot press watercolor paper, so it's on the smooth side. Now, since hot press paper is a little more delicate than cold press, I will leave this for maybe like four minutes. I won't wait too long because it has torn in the past when I leave it over five minutes. And this is whether or not I condition the plate with baby oil. The baby oil really helps, but it has its limits. So I need to keep those variables in mind. The different papers behave very differently. Okay, let's see what we have here. There's a nice balance of blending and not blending. So here is the first pool. I really like this. Okay. It has left a very beautiful ghost print. I will see how I can work with this. I'm going to use some green oxide. This is Sennelier Abstract. A few spots of color here. This is copper. Some. This is graphite iridescent black.
and let's see I will add a few spots of bright orange Now hopefully this second layer will wake up the first layer which is in a semi semi dry semi wet state Again I'm going to apply some of my marks Just making sure my hands are in decent shape. They have to be clean. Now some viewers ask questions about my not using a barren or a wooden spoon. You can use that if you feel more comfortable using a barren or a wooden spoon or a rolling pin but I am more comfortable using my hands because I do like to feel the plate and the paper interacting together and I'm you would say I'm old school I believe in the value of things that are handmade or hand done. I don't think there is a substitute for that. Not that I know of. I like that. I like that it's a suggestion of the colors of nature without being too literal. So you are free to interpret what you see. And to me, that is the beauty of abstract art. It's even more complex than the first pool. Now there's still quite 
a nice ghost print here. Let me see what I can do with this. It would have to be a deeper color. Let me try turquoise. Is blue. Oh. Didn't see that coming. And some lime green. Okay, this is where color shaper comes in handy. So I can distribute Just even this out with my roller. Add a few marks here and there. So I think these marks are evocative of the patterns you see in nature, like branches and twigs, but it's not too literal, so you are free to interpret. Just me, I'm being extra careful. Just to keep the edges nice and clean. A 
you don't have to do this, but I like to keep the edges clean. Okay, I will take a chance and leave this for about five minutes. Since I'm hoping to pick up all the leftover paint, I will take a chance. This is cool. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to pick up all the leftover paint and it creates such a beautiful texture. Oh, you like that? Very happy with this. It's it's very much like a landscape, but at the same time, it is a true abstract image. So you are free to interpret it as you wish. Okay, I will air dry all three of these and then recap.
Okay, everybody. It has dried very nicely. This is the first pull. Let me show you a close-up. Now I felt that I had to combine some collage with this to give it some contrast. And these are roughly cut into leaf shapes without being too literal. And here you can see some traces of the Sharpie marker. Now I like the fact that it doesn't transfer completely. It gives it that uh, distressed look. So that is the first piece. Now here's the second one, which is a ghost print. Has a little bit more of a complex mix of colors and texture. Really is a lot going on with this piece. It's almost like an Impressionist painting. So that is piece number two. And here's the last piece, which I think is my favorite. I hope you like this springtime video. I would like to wish all of you a very happy spring. Uh, to all those who celebrate Easter, happy Easter to you. And please check out artwhisper88.com, which is my storefront. And the proceeds of the sales go to help keep this channel going. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time.